Hi, Larissa. Hi. Hey, I heard you had some questions about foam rolling. I do. Oh, well, that's awesome. We just happen to be foam rolling experts here at Doobie Chiropractic. Oh, so. perfect. This is a foam roller, which you can pick up from, from Amazon. Amazon. I'm going to make sure we're centered in. So you can pick this guy up. Can you see this OK? Right? So uh, there's different lengths, but most of them are always the same diameter. So this is your foam roller. You can pick this up on Amazon for 20, 30 bucks, something like that. Yeah. Um, or less. Or less. And so the idea here is, um, I'm just going to have you lay your back there. So. There's many different ways that you, that you can foam roll. The most frequent uh, thing that we have people foam roll is their thoracic spine. So go ahead. We'll have Larissa show what it looks like to foam roll the thoracic spine. That's it. Perfect. You just want to roll that up and down. You might hear some pops, crack, pops and clicks. Yeah. Pops, cracks, <laughs> clicks there. So that's the sign of your body adjusting. There's no bones breaking, nothing like that. You hear pops, cracks, and clicks. Um, so what additionally is going to be going on as she goes a little bit lower, she's just mobilizing the spine. She's, she's moving things. And the more and more she does this, and we usually recommend you do this at least once a day. My routine is that I do it first thing in the morning every day. Um, it's, you're just going to be, you're going to hear more pops and cracks and clicks because your body's getting used to things moving your body. You can take it all the way down to your pelvis and why don't we go ahead and do the uh, IT band also? On the side? On the side, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is first time. <laughs> so when you get in and roll the IT band out, you're, you're working from basically where you feel the hip joint, right in here, all the way down and past the knee. You'll feel a little bit of a knob. That's the, the head of your fibula. I'm going to give him that, that, oh, keep going, hey, Larissa. There we go. Okay, all the way down and all the way back. So, all right, make sure you here. Yeah, that's perfect. So as you're doing that, and then you can actually take it all the way up even into the glutes, and you can just kind of roll posterior a little bit also, Larissa. Yeah, well done. You can get in the hamstrings and take it all the way up, all the way down the hamstrings. So now you're rolling out the hamstrings. And let's get it, let's roll out a little bit of quadriceps. Turn around, all the way around. So you can do one leg at a time, or you can do two legs at a time. Kind of the Captain Obvious moment here is that if you're going to go ahead and you're going to get in, and you're going to do one leg at a time, it's going to be a lot more painful because you've got all of your weight on one leg versus, versus two legs. So this doesn't really do that much for me versus getting in and doing something like this. And you can get in, roll all the way. If you're going to get in that IT band, all of your runners that are out there that are watching the IT band, this is something you should be doing two or three times a day in your long runs. You ever felt like your, your IT band is starting to slap against the side of your leg? I don't run. So that's a no. <laughs> uh, but for the runners, Jesse, if you're out there watching, um, it, it's that, that's that IT band getting, uh, frankly, it's inflamed and it's getting caught together. So what, what is actually going on with foam rolling? This is what's going on. So you've got muscle fibers that move back and forth. Can you see this okay? Yeah. They're doing something like this as they're moving back and forth. This would be healthy tissue. When you start stretching tissue, when you start stretching muscles and tearing muscles, they start to connect together, edema and swelling. You start, you start to get a little bit crunchy like this. So do you feel think this feels less good or more good when you've got this going on? Less good. Two points, Larissa, well done. So what that foam roller is doing is actually coming in and just kind of straighten this stuff out and hopefully not as wrinkly as the paper. And then your body can start to do this stuff again. So when you're getting in and you're doing your, your, mus your muscles, that's what's happening with the foam roller. Um, and there's really no part of your body that you can't foam roll. You can get in and you can even get in and do some lat work. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm overdoing that one. Oh jeez. So you can get in and you can do some lat work also. You can do your shoulder, although it's a little bit wonky because the shoulder joint is, you, you know, you don't necessarily have too much motion with the shoulder joint. Uh, but again, my absolute favorite, oh yeah, I was going to be back, mobilization of your spine. If you're not doing anything, I don't really want to go see a chiropractor, okay, fine. Get, get your foam roller out and start rolling your thoracic spine. What's your, what are your questions? What's foam rolling? Cover that. What Who's happens? It for? With, what's that? Who's it for? Who's it for? 
Fumbling, frankly, is for most everybody. Um, I'm not a doctor. Wait, no, I am a doctor, but I might not be your doctor. So the, the kind of 50,000 of you is consult your doctor and make sure you're a good candidate for foam rolling. Most everybody is a great candidate for foam rolling. Um, if you have um, something going on like really, really tender joints, it, it might not feel the best for you. Usually you're not sore, you're sore for foam rolling. In, not it, usually. Yeah, in, 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 infrequently I'll have people say I'm a little bit sore for foam rolling, and you're probably doing it too much. Um, sometimes they make these foam rollers that have a bunch of like grooves and imprints and stuff with them. If you're on one of those foam rollers and you're just starting it your first day, you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to foam roll for 20 minutes with one of these things. You can just feel like uh, someone grabbed a potato sack and hit you with a, a sack of potatoes. And like those little potatoes, like loaded with the little ones and just like you got beat with those. So you can't overdo it. My best place to start is just a little, this is Amazon Basics and it's like 20 or 30 bucks. You cover everything, Marissa? I think we got it. Okay, if, if you'd like to see uh, how chiropractic also dovetails with foam rolling, go ahead and uh, you can hit us up with an instant message, share this on your wall, and uh, thanks for allowing us to do service to you today.